Hey, what's up, guys? Rob of Rule of Two Review here, and it's a pretty awesome day because just today, the first DLC for Mario Kart 8 was released, which is, of course, two brand new cups featuring a total of eight brand new tracks, three new characters to play as, and kind of a slew of other tiny features such as uh, new carts and bikes to be able to use, new gear and equipment such as tires and your uh, gliders for all of your carts, and all sorts of cool things were added. Uh, there's been a lot of hype and buzz about this due to Nintendo's positive rollout of the information about, hey, we're finally doing DLC. It's for Mario Kart. Look at how great it is and look at how cheap it is. So um, since it just came out and I finally got home from work and had a chance to kind of check it out for a little bit, I wanted to show you guys some footage of my playthroughs and also talk about my feelings. I do also have to make a quick PSA about the footage you're watching. I haven't played Mario Kart in a pretty long time. It's probably been about three or four months. Um, so I suck. And so don't judge me for sucking. Um, you have to remember that these are not only have I not played in a long time, but the courses are brand new. Um, and the, the bike that I'm using when I'm playing as Link using the Master Bike or the Master Sword Bike or whatever, haven't felt that out. It's just been a while. If it's been a while since you've played Mario Kart, you lose your skills and you have to play a while to get them back, let alone playing brand new courses and tracks you've never played before and new stats on new vehicles and stuff. So yeah, I kind of suck just because it's been a while. Try not to judge. Um, but you know, the obvious thing I want to talk about is how awesome this DLC is. Uh, it, I, I mean, there's so many different angles to approach it from, um, the fact that it's such quality content to the fact that it's really fun to play to the fact that Nintendo did DLC better than almost anyone ever has before because it's so reasonably, bleh, reasonably priced. Sorry guys, it's late and I shouldn't probably be recording, but I am. So, um, yeah, I just think that, um, I mean, it's gorgeous, of course. Uh, being able to play as Link, which a lot of the footage you'll watch is me playing as Link, was so fantastic. It just, it's crazy because I think that they've probably put more into Link as a character. His animations, his exclamations, the thing that he says, you know, and just the way he looks and feels as a Mario Kart racer than any Mario Kart racer before. Because they, it's the first time they've really gone outside of the Mario universe or the Mario canon, if you want to call it that to bring in another character from another Nintendo property. And, uh, you know, not counting the Amiibo support, which I want to talk about in a minute, this will be the first time, the only time we've been able to play as another character. And they did it such a great job. It kind of makes me wish that they did more of this. Um, of course, there's Link. The other two new characters you can race as are... Um, Oh, God, what is the Peach? I already forget what the Peach is now because I really just didn't care. And then also Tanuki Mario. So there's a different version of Peach, and there's a different version of Mario, Tanuki Mario. And those are cool enough. Link is a really exciting one, and of course he also comes with his own bike. There is a way. In the new courses, well, in one of the new cups, there is an F-Zero track, which is just awesome, by the way. It's a little short, but it's so great. Uh, and I know that there's a way to, to race in the Blue Falcon, as somebody had previously corrected me. I called it the Falcon Bomber. That's not what it's called. It's the Blue Falcon from F-Zero, um, Captain Falcon's racer. And there's a way to race in that. I don't quite know how you do that. I don't know, I don't know if you have to unlock it just as a racer to select from, probably, uh, or if it's something that you can only race on in that track. Or I'm, I'm just not quite sure, but I've seen footage of it. I know you can do it. It's great that these kinds of things and little touches were added into the DLC. Uh, I think it's fantastic. So, long story short, of course, the DLC it's it's just great. You know, the uh, all the new courses are cool because there's what I like is how they sort of mixed mixed yeah mixed and matched. You see how late it is? I shouldn't be talking, guys, but here I am doing it anyway. They've mixed and matched in the sense that both cups are made up of a combination of older courses from old games, old Mario Kart games. You know, like the Wii version, the GameCube version, the Game Boy Advance version, and some new courses. So previously in Mario Kart, you have cups that are made up entirely of old courses that are redone or entirely of new courses and it's cool that they kind of mix and match i think that that's really neat uh the new courses are really really fantastic i think that they're a lot of fun uh, i will say that it kind of feels like overall the new courses are pretty easy i was able to get flawless perfect runs both playthroughs of the of each new cup um and it's not like they're not fantastic, but they just feel kind of easy. And I, pl I played on 100cc, and we all probably know that when you go to 150cc that the game starts to kick your ass up and down the track. And I haven't done that yet. I just wanted to kind of wet my toes. So, um, you know, I feel like they're a little easy. The courses are short, but they're so great. Um, the Hyrule Field slash Hyrule Castle one is awesome. I really, really like that. Um, the Bowser one that was a brand new one created for this course, and I can't forget its name. I should have written it down, but I didn't. That one was one of my favorite of the new courses. So lots of good things going on. Uh, the other quick thing I did want to touch on is not exactly relating to the DLC, but it's more for the most recent Mario Kart update from about a week or two ago. And it's really neat because um, it added it 
added the amiibo function. It, it's basically preparing the game, both the Wii U and the game, for amiibo support. Because in just a week's time, uh, literally a week from tomorrow, actually, the amiibos are finally going to be released and everyone's going to be using them in Smash Brothers and in Mario Kart and Hyrule Warriors and all these great things. It's going to be super exciting. Um, earlier in the beginning of the video, uh, I know that you would have seen me kind of perusing through the menu since it's a little bit different. I wanted to include that footage at the beginning because as soon as I turned the game on, I was like, whoa, there's like, I knew that there was the update that wasn't part of the DLC. It was just a regular update. First time I'd played Mario Kart since that update. And I was like, whoa, there's like a little amiibo icon at the bottom, you know? So I pressed the plus button for that. And it's great because it shows you the different, um, the, you know, what the different outfits for your Miis that are based on other characters like Samus or Donkey Kong or Yoshi or what have you are going to look like and how when you scan your amiibo into the game, that's when you're going to be able to select from that menu and select which outfit you want to use. So pretty cool stuff, really exciting. Just furthering my current, you know, hype for amiibos, which as I talked about in my last video, was only like mediocre initially and has been rising significantly. So I'm being, I'm preparing myself to start dumping some money into amiibos. God damn it, Nintendo, you always take my money. But um, I think that it's pretty cool. You know, the update did a couple of other small things. It did some balancing. Fixed. I know that it fixed the way you earn uh, coins and points in the multiplayer stuff, in the online modes, which I haven't tried yet. Um, it also, you know, fixed like post-race, you know, your cursor starts on the next race, not the view highlights thing. Stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, it'll be really exciting to see what the amiibo functionality is going to feel like once we finally get to start doing this. Um, and again, at the end of the day, the DLC is really what I wanted to talk about. Pretty straightforward and simple. Eight new tracks, uh, two new cups, three new racers, and a slew of other tiny additions. It's great. You know, this is $7.99 a piece, which already would have been worth it for this DLC and also the DLC coming out after the new year, um, which will add the same amount of content, or $11.99 for both. I mean, it is stupid how much money you save buying both. And even one of these at $7.99 is an amazing deal and a great value. So right on, Nintendo. Kudos to you guys. You know, always looking out for us gamers and Nintendo fans at the end of the day, more so than most other companies, and that's, that's why I... I love them. If you're a Nintendo fan, hopefully that's why you love them as well. So yeah, that's pretty much it. The DLC, it's fantastic. What have you guys been thinking? Hopefully this first day, a lot of you guys have been playing it. I've seen a lot of tweets from some other gamers and uh, some of the other gamers at large members and some other videos people have made talking about it. Everyone seems to be liking it. Um, but yeah, I love it. What is it you guys think? And of course, thanks for tuning in. Feel free to subscribe to Rule to Review, like and share your thoughts about the video below. And thanks for tuning in. I will catch you guys on the next video.